Good morning, you guys. I bought these egg bites yesterday and I have been wanting to try them. So I'm gonna heat up two in the air fryer. It says that I can do them in the microwave for 45 seconds or the oven for like 20. So I'm just gonna do them in the air fryer. So it'll probably be about like 15 minutes. It's like a good medium. They're honestly pretty small. I'm gonna heat them up for, it says to put them at 350 for 18 minutes. I'm gonna see if it's worth it because this whole package only comes with six and it was like 10 bucks. So kind of expensive, but if you like think about it, if you go and buy them, it's not as expensive. Anyways, I'm gonna put these in the air fryer and then I will show you guys how they turn out, but I'm gonna make a coffee. Here's my breakfast. This is how the egg bites turned out. They look and smell really good. So I will give you guys a review after I eat them on how they taste. And I'm just gonna probably put some sriracha on them, of course, dip them in. And yeah, I will let you guys know how they taste. So I'm really excited to try them. So I just got myself in a workout set and a sweater. I was going to go on a walk earlier this morning with Joel to get some outdoor exercise instead of going to the gym because the gym opened later today because they had like some maintenance they needed to do. So that was the plan. But then when our alarms went off, Joel actually said that he feels sick today. He has some sort of a cold body cold or whatever so he didn't want to go so i'm like okay whatever i'll just go later so i slept in a bit today which is very rare for me but it's nice occasionally and now i'm actually going on a walk with my sister she's coming over my older sister we're gonna go to this really really nice nature park i've actually been there before and it's you feel like snow white because there's like a million squirrels they literally come up to you there's a birds they'll fly on your finger it's actually insane there like the nature is so beautiful so we're gonna go there together and go on a nice it's just over an hour walk which is like the perfect amount and i'm excited to get some nice exercise outside it's a beautiful day the sun is out so yeah that's the plan for today i had a chill morning i was just editing and it's about like 12 30 right now i felt really nice to sleep in get some extra sleep for the day i was just gonna go to the gym and do like 12 to 30 cardio day anyway so it may as well be doing it outside since it is nice so that's the plan i'm just wearing um black leggings with this black tank from Aritzia sports bra underneath and then this columbia sweater that i got thrifting a while ago like last summer so this is a little fit of the day my hair is like back because it's just gross right now oh hello say hello i don't really have too extravagant of plans today i just have this walk and then i'm gonna come back home do more work and it's nice to kind of also get out in the middle of the day just to break up you know my work because i'm sitting at a computer for most of the day when i'm editing and stuff and doing emails so it's actually really nice getting to break it up and go outside so we love that anyways i'm gonna bring my camera along so i can film some of the walk for you guys we'll see you after <laughs> dinner we were watching alone i don't want to go to the gym because i usually go with him and now that he's not coming it's like should i take the day off but it's like i already didn't go to the gym today even though i did get like good exercise i still go to the gym but it's like i should probably just go and do it because it's gonna make me feel so good and like you never regret a workout especially on a friday i don't think it's possible to regret a workout like you just can't because it makes you feel so good and i feel like i need to go tomorrow because the weekend it's like right here like right in my grasp so i just i have to go like i can't make excuses here oh my god to be finally came to the camera you want some screen i think she's getting jealous of Binu. are you getting jealous of Binu's screen time this girl is so cuddly she fiends for attention and for pets and she purrs like 24 7 but i never get to show her to you guys because she's always 
she doesn't like the camera as much as me so she doesn't come to me when i'm filming but she just did i know you want your screen time oh my god i love them so much she's literally like a snowball okay i also just washed a bunch of dishes because they were piled up from literally just yesterday and today but i need to do a nice thorough house clean if i have time to do that tomorrow that would be amazing like even if i could just take two hours out of my day to just clean that entire house like on a friday there's no better feeling of a clean house so i'm hoping to, to do that tomorrow i feel like i almost need to create like a chores list for me and joel then it will hold us accountable it'll make sure that everything gets deep cleaned and it's like i can have specific days where I do specific things and then it'll make sure that the whole house is maintained because having like three bathrooms is a lot to like maintain just for the two of us so it's like one bathroom could be getting so dirty and we don't even realize it it's a pretty big place we live in which is amazing and I'm so grateful for it but it also comes with more upkeep so it's like I don't know I just always feel like I'm catching up to cleaning but I want to be able to like nip it in the butt and maintain my house that just makes me understand why people get cleaners because it makes total sense especially if you do not have time Time, like oh my gosh cleaning is a task in itself and it takes very time consuming so even if you just don't want to even spend the energy on it i understand people who get cleaners i just need to like be more routine with it more on like a schedule like i need to just say okay this day i'm the same cleaning this and this and etc anyways i can't believe it's the middle of june we have to do a little bit of a june recap tomorrow and like i want to look over my goals and everything just kind of journal oh my gosh i haven't journaled in so long i feel like i go in phases of journaling and i'm like okay no i'm actually gonna journal and then I don't and it's just there's so many things that need upkeep in life honestly and it's hard to it's hard to upkeep every single thing and it's like nobody's perfect and it's okay you just have to be kind to yourself and it's okay if you don't get a million things done in a day it's okay if you if you have like still five tasks you need to do that's been on your mind for a while just take a second and breathe and realize like it doesn't really matter it's okay things will get done and that's just life things are always going to be happening and changing and you're going to always need to be doing something so that's like something that I struggle with sometimes if I'm trying to relax I'll have like all those tasks that are like ringing in the back of my head like I need to do this and I need to do that I always need to do something there's never been a moment in time where there's nothing that needs to be done something can always be cleaned some work can always be done there's just literally always something to do and so you still just have to enjoy those moments of stillness in your life regardless of if you have anything to do or not and that's what i've realized so i've gotten a lot better at that but yeah it's just important to realize that we're always going to be on like a treadmill or like a hamster wheel in life it's always going to feel like that and so it's just important to take the time to just chill don't care about your priorities just leave that for tomorrow and just enjoy the present moment it's also like when you are dreading something but then you make that ruin your present moment let's say i'm dreading going to work tomorrow if i had like a job i didn't like that's ruining my present moment tonight because i'm letting it affect me right now you know but that's why you have to be very present in each moment because your job tomorrow doesn't need to affect your night tonight you know if you're just present and not thinking about the past or the future then it won't affect it and you'll be happy regardless so that's something else that i'm trying to work on is you know, just being present and not letting things bother me. Anyways, I think you guys get the point. I'm gonna go get ready for bed. At least I got the kitchen cleaned. Like, that feels good. And I just, yeah, I wanted some time to relax tonight. So I didn't want to, like, be cleaning everything. But hopefully I can have time for that tomorrow. Or I will make time. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully bright and early for the gym. You're gonna hold me accountable, okay? The camera is gonna hold me accountable. Just because it is the mid-year doesn't mean we don't have any more motivation, okay? We got this. The girls discovered the toilet paper. They have been destroying our rules ever since. What are you doing? Toopy. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> and there she goes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Toopy. <laughs> She's like, get that camera off. Pick 
can't wait till it gets hot and I won't have to wear a jacket in the morning. I think that's the thing, right? Like, I don't know if it's gonna be that hot this early, but I feel like a sweater will do pretty soon. And last summer, I used to go on walks all the time in the morning, and that was so nice. I was talking to my sister yesterday, and we were saying how we should plan, like, one day a week, and we should go with, like, my sisters and we should go on a walk or something like a different trail every week and like grab a coffee or something before just to get some outdoor exercise it would be so cute to do that just getting a little routine like one day a week we know what's happening like that's the whole fun of the summer is like you could do things that you can't do in the winter stuff like that and you have to take advantage of them for the three months that they're available here i also love myself a good fall walk though like in the crisp leaves if it's not raining that is the ideal weather as well in like september but yeah, I have a feeling our summer is going to kind of be a late summer again because last year it like dragged on into October, I mean September, because it wasn't really that hot in June. So maybe that's what's happening this year a little bit. So we'll see, but I don't mind the summer dragging on. This is my just simple gym outfit of the day. My sports bra is from Maritzia. My leggings are from... Gymshark, I had, do have a matching tank top with them, but I kind of just felt like wearing a sports bra today. That's the fit. I'm really proud of myself. Just because it's the mid-year doesn't mean I can't slack, so I'm really proud of myself, even though Joel is not going today, that I actually woke up and I'm going. I feel like there's like so much motivation at the beginning of the year, but you have to like try to carry that throughout the year with you and still be disciplined. Discipline is a muscle in your brain that you have to work. If you don't work it, then you're not gonna have good discipline. You have to do like little things to add up so that your discipline becomes really strengthened and that's what i've been trying to do over the past couple years is like do little things in my everyday life that practice my discipline so that i become a more disciplined person because motivation comes and goes and that's the thing is that you're not always going to be motivated so that's when you need discipline if you want to achieve goals and you know accomplish what you want to accomplish because not everything in life is easy you just also make sure that even though maybe at this time of year there's not too much motivation like it's not a new year you made your goals for a reason so let's go to the gym Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but one thing that I am always worried about getting a beautiful brand new phone is it breaking and it being protected properly. But ever since I started using case to buy cases, I literally never have to worry about that. I have been using case to buy cases for over a year now, and let me tell you, they have been serving me right with the protection. If you're like me, I drop my phone like 24/7. I don't think there's ever a day where I'm not dropping it. But she is good as new, never been scratched. So this is the new case that I got from them. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with leopard print. It's so in right now. And of course, I had to get my phone case to match that because I just feel like this is such a slay, especially for mirror selfies. It's so hard for me to find like a good protective case that's actually really cute as well. But that's where Casetify comes in and literally encompasses all of that. They have the best protective, but also the cutest cases. If you go on their website, they have like so, so, so many designs, patterns, colors, customizable things you could choose from. And it's really hard to find that anywhere else. I climb up the stairs because we're going to do a drop test. This is Casetify's bounce case and it has a 21.3 foot drop protection. We are going to put that to the test right now. I'm going to show you guys. Here we go. Perfect. Amazing. Not a scratch on her. I came outside firsthand to show you me dropping it on concrete. Let's just walk. Oh, whoa. I'm not even worried though. Not a literal scratch. And the front is still perfect. I feel like I've proven my point. <laughs> if you guys would like to shop them, you can go to my link, caseify.com slash Michaela Bento and get yourself 10% off. It is only available for a limited time. So go shop them and we can even have matching cases. I will link this exact one that I have um, on my phone as well. Thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring today's video. We are a stan around here.
guess, more unique within my content and strive to just make more of an impact and talk about like my mindset and my views more often not just primarily focus on oh like my routine my productivity my like motivation not just primarily focus on that in my videos but also like incorporate more just like things that will make you think about life think deeply into your heart and like you know what i mean yeah like more selfless content over selfish content exactly and yeah. it's like i still like don't get me wrong i'll still be showing like clothing hauls and like all that stuff yeah. and like keeping my content basically the same yeah but I, d I don't know, especially I just have like a really clear vision moving forward on what I want to do, especially for like my summer videos. I sound so nasally today because I said this on the podcast, but I am like starting to feel sick. Usually when I get sick, I either get like a mini cold, like a mini sickness, or I'm like down in the trenches, like in bed for a week. There's never an in-between for me. So I feel like I just have a slight little cold going on. So obviously I don't feel like 100% and she's definitely coming on but like i still feel like i can do things which is good and that's not like horrible so it's just more like in my head you know it's not like body aches so that's good anyways i just slicked my hair back because i had a hat on for the podcast and it just like my hair was just greasy so I'll, like gotta get it out of my face for what i want to do because it is the middle of june already when i tell you i can't even comprehend that the year is going by so freaking fast it is actually insane and so i just want to revamp a little bit for mid-year give you guys some mid-year motivation do a tiny like not a full reset because because I'm gonna actually do a full summer reset soon so I don't, I'm not gonna like go into ham that'll be like my mid-year reset but I do just kind of want to do a couple things like look over my goals and just clean up a bit and give you guys some mid-year motivation because it is so easy I feel like at this time of year to fall out of your routine and lose touch with your goals since it's already been six months into the year we all write these huge goals at the beginning of the year when January rolls around I feel like it's important to kind of once it hits mid-year reassess because a year is a long time so it's always good to look back on what you wrote down reassess your goals and maybe make new ones and just like adjust things to your current state so that's what I want to do today and for right now I'm just gonna start with a bed clean i really want to just wash my duvet cover and also the sheets i don't know if i should put them in the same load or if i should wash them separately but i feel like they can easily go in together because the duvet cover is pretty light so it's like a sheet anyways i'm gonna wash them and just that'll start the little reset um, i already as you guys saw i cleaned the couch fully vacuumed it which was so nice it just like needed a good deep clean clean the kitchen so yeah now i just want to do a couple more things before i sit down and like reassess my goals for the year. Sorry for me sounding easily <laughs> is annoying, but can't help it. Okay, let's strip the bedding and put in the wash. Mino is sleeping. I don't know if you guys could see her behind me. She loves that spot, so I'm gonna have to maybe, actually, she might be good there. Maybe I won't have to move her, but actually, no, I, I definitely will because I'm gonna need to take the sheets off. Let's get these sheets in the wash because with South Tan and beige sheets combo, like a light sheet combo is not a good combo, so they need to be washed like minimum once a week oh look at this baby girl fast asleep she loves this spot on the bed what i've been doing recently is i've been putting this pillow here and then my actual pillow like right here if that makes sense so that they have room to lay behind my head so i leave like this much space and then it creates just more room for us in the bed since i fit this way anyway since i'm short and it's just like the perfect solution to them sleeping with us so they're not really bothering us at night anymore like i'm not waking up so it's perfect are you purring now? Oh, Peter, how do I move you? Oh, baby girl. Oh, she's purring. I don't think you guys could hear it on the camera, but she's purring. She's roaring loud. I love when they purr. It's just so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, baby girl, but I'm gonna be changing the sheets. Look at how freaking photogenic she is. Like, you guys both are so beautiful. Where is Toopy? I have not seen her. <laughs>
sometimes I get these red patches on my skin and my skin like sometimes gets bumpy like in a patch really itchy and then it goes away but it's like not eczema it's like something internal like I can tell the difference that goes into one of my goals that I wrote down I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the year that I wanted to get done and I have not done yet is get my blood work done and just make sure that like everything is okay because I have never like gotten my blood work done before so I feel like that would be a definitely like a good idea to do now that I'm like getting older I feel like I just need to go for a checkup and I feel like it's just kind of turning me off to go to the doctor since I don't really like my doctor right now to be honest she is not the best and she just doesn't give a shit about anybody it's just like turning me off because I don't want to talk to her you know what I mean so anyways that's something that I really want to do going into this next half of the year is just go get checked up because there's a couple things that I'm like I should probably inquire why this is happening to my body I'm all about like you know naturopathic ways and stuff but I feel like when it comes down to it you need to go see a doctor to go get your blood drawn on and etc so anyways definitely gonna be doing that for the next half of the year i'm gonna be looking over my goals a little bit later and then we'll do the whole reassessment but i was just working for a bit here i put the sheets in the laundry and i cleaned my office it just needed like a clean i'm actually gonna look through like my whole clothing and do a whole like wardrobe reset for my summer reset video so stay tuned for that i'm excited to go through everything and like deep clean this whole entire room it's gonna be so satisfying one thing that i honestly have not gotten better that was in my goal as well was procrastination oh my gosh guys i swear that shit's genetic because i procrastinate every second that i can i put off doing everything that needs to be done and then it like bites me in the ass even though like i work better under pressure technically it's like not worth the stress because it brings on so much stress when i leave stuff for the last minute so i'm done like that is a mid-year goal that i like need to stick to and like really emphasize i know it'll just help me let me know down below if you're a procrastinator as well because i feel like I don't know if I've ever actually the only person I really ever met that doesn't procrastinate everything is Joel he is so good at that so I definitely need to up that for the second half of the year I feel like June is such like a fun month because it's like the anticipation for the actual like hotness of summer to start and I love that it's also the middle of the year the sad thing though is that I feel like once June starts it's like already the end of summer and so I'm really really trying to just like stay present in this moment and not distract myself 24 7 because I feel like that's when time goes by the fastest but whenever I think of the second half of the year I always just think of summer but like no we still got to go through fall and winter again which is crazy the weather actually looks not not really no for the next week it's not going to be nice but then next week it's picking up which is good because I want to go to the beach um, um, I think the sheets just finished in the dryer so I'm going to transfer those over and then I'm just going to do some more work today. One thing that I have been really really good at this year though is working out and like I actually have stuck to that this whole freaking year and I've been so 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 good about it and I feel like working out isn't something that you could just do for like three months and then call it a day. Working out is like a lifelong commitment and that's why you have to really find like workouts that you love that your body likes you feel good doing and like just switching things up and trying out new things i'm really just proud of myself for like sticking to it because it's not you're not going to see any effects like just working out short term you're going to see them long term and for me i work out mostly just for how i feel because it affects everything from my physical health to my mental health and it overall just makes me feel so 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 good it's so easy i feel like to put off working out and it's so easy to make excuses to not do it rather than to like actually just get it done and go to the gym and or go to a workout class and know that it's going to make you feel good so going into the second half of the year that's something that i really want to continue obviously doing and even trying out more workouts and everything but if you guys feel like you're in a rut mid-year and you are lacking motivation try to figure out like why that is happening are you not liking your workouts that you're doing so maybe you need to switch that up are you going to bed at a bad time? Are you scrolling on TikTok 24-7 so that's taking all of your brain energy and your, your power, you know? So just like reassessing things on why you're feeling certain emotions I feel like is super important. And even looking at your life and if you're super happy, noticing, okay, I'm really happy in this period of my life. What, what am I doing like that makes me happy? And taking note of that and continuing that on or changing things you know what i mean so anyways i just feel like that's important for like a reset but we'll dive into more of my goals and stuff later on but yeah i'm gonna do some work right now change the sheets over and then we will chat in a bit 
Hey guys, so it is currently 8.43 and just had dinner, relax for a bit. Just watched some Alone, which is a survival show. One of Joel and I's favorite shows because it actually like teaches you something. It doesn't make you feel like your brain is rotting. Anyways, now's the time where I'm just gonna sit down, reflect on the mid-year point of view, mid-year check-in type of thing. Just kind of look over the goals that I set at the beginning of the year, which is crazy to think about because I have not opened them since I made them. That's actually crazy to me that I wrote these six months ago. It feels like I just wrote them. Okay, so let's go over some of my health and wellness goals that I set for myself and let's see if I'm keeping with them. Work out three to five times a week that I'm doing. I already mentioned I'm doing good at that. Continue no gluten, no dairy. I'm continuing no gluten, but I am trying to incorporate dairy again to see how it affects my skin and my body. Limit processed foods and sugar intake. I definitely have been doing that. Be routine oriented. Yes. Wake up and go to bed at consistent times. Mm -hmm. Stick to waking up at 5 a.m. Oh my gosh, I have, which I'm so proud of myself for. Read instead of school 30 minutes before bed. Definitely have been not schooling before bed, so that's good. Reading, I'm still trying to get myself into, so that's like a half and half. Sweat at least twice a week. Yes, that's funny when I wrote this because I didn't have access to a sauna, but now I go to a new gym that has a sauna, so I have been sweating like every single time I go to the gym because I've been using it and it's such a good detox and I love it. Have balance, get your steps in. Honestly, I am pretty on track with all my health and wellness goals, which is great. Let's look at my spiritual goals. Meditate more frequently to be completely transparent. I haven't meditated. I don't even remember the last time I've meditated. I haven't felt the need to meditate, but I feel like incorporating that, even if I, it's not a purposeful meditation, like even if I just sit down and breathe in for a couple breaths, that is a form of meditation, you know? So even like taking little moments like that i need to do more of to just clear my mind of any thoughts connect more with my higher self and purpose definitely have been doing that i just have been i feel like going a bit deeper these past couple months and getting to know myself more and kind of doing more what my heart wants to do rather than my brain which is good and i've been tapping more into that like my inner being i have a goal here that i want to go on a summer road trip definitely still could happen so that would be fun i wanted to post five tiktoks and youtube shorts per week Girl, that is just unattainable. Like, I'm sorry, unless I really put my mind to it. Hit 300K on YouTube. What I've realized, honestly, throughout these past couple of months is that money, views, fame, whatever, it's so freaking superficial and fake. None of it is real, if you know what I mean. I really don't care about numbers anymore, like I used to. I'm still trying to let it go, but I feel like my whole life I focused on numbers. I focused on getting more money. The more money I make, the more money I want to make. And that's an issue that's not good obviously you need to provide for yourself and everything and that's great but it comes to a point where it's like you just get greedy and selfish and you just want more and more and more and more and you kind of start to lose touch with everything and it's harder to be grateful at that point because you revolve your life too much around like superficial things and that's where i caught myself like getting into almost and caring too much about just numbers in all aspects on my social medias and on like money and i realized i need to stay true to like the meaning of life and what actually matters none of that matters in life all of that is just a distraction as much as i would love to have a million subscribers or a billion dollars that will all come naturally once i actually follow my inner passions and let it go like let go of wanting more as long as i just like stay on the path of doing what my intuition is telling me to do and really truly not caring about anything superficial like like that and just being super super grateful for what i have in this present moment things will start to flow in and so yeah it's just super easy to get caught up in this materialistic world and we revolve our whole lives around money and wanting more of it and it gets to a certain point where it's like you're never going to be happy with what you have because you're always going to be striving for more that's where i kind of got caught because i wanted to hit 100,000 subscribers and then once i was there i wanted to hit 200,000 then i'm at 200,000 i want to hit 300,000 it's like there's always a bigger number so i just want to focus on now going forward instead of writing down in my goals like oh i want to hit 300,000 subscribers writing down like i want to be grateful for what i have right now and i think my mindset and perspective has completely shifted on that because really tuning into like what the meaning of life is and what my soul is here to do money numbers they don't matter and that's why like my content is going to be shifting a bit because i'm gonna make the content that like i want to make regardless of how it's gonna do it's kind of scary in a sense where it's like out of my comfort zone 
because it's almost like taking a risk but the bigger the risk the bigger the reward and i just have to tune into my inner being and follow that and i know things will work out i have started a podcast in here which is crazy because i actually did start a podcast and i wasn't really sure when i even wrote that down but i was just like you know what this would be cool to do and wow we're on like our i think it's like 11 or 12th episode now which is crazy so that's really cool i said get two kittens well look what we have that's actually insane but anyways i'm not going to go through every single nitty gritty goal that i wrote but that's basically the gist of things and how, how my perspective has switched already six months into the year a lot can change in a year a lot could change in six months a lot could change in two months that's why it's like so important to check in with yourself recess things like i already said it's just so important anyways before i ramble on too much about that I am going to do a little bit of a journal session because I haven't journaled since. Let's look at the last time I journaled. Oh my gosh, March 22nd. Three months, girl. A lot has changed since I last journaled. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, honestly, I just like journaling because as much as I love making videos for memories, journaling is different because it really captures what's in my mind and like my thought process about everything and like my emotions and stuff. So that's why I love it because it's really cool to look back on. I really encourage you guys if you've never tried journaling, even if you just start with like gratitude journaling, it's really, really good and good for you, I feel like. So yeah, I'm gonna do some journaling right now to kind of end off this little mid-year reset slash review. Okay, let's get journaling. They literally are non-stop playing with each other and they love each other so much. It's like it's literally the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> they full on wrestle. Like wrestle. It's so funny. <laughs> They're best friends and it's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> Sometimes they'll be wrestling like on the edge and then they'll fall off and it's so funny because they get so scared. And then they'll just run. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like literally a wrestling match. <laughs> This goes non-stop like every single day. It's the cutest thing. Okay guys, I'm gonna head to bed. I just wanted to say thank you so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart for staying till this point in the video and watching it. I love and appreciate you so much you don't even know and your support means the world to me and I hope I can make some sort of a positive impact in your life. I hope you guys have the best month of June and the second half of the year to come if you guys didn't have the greatest first half of the year just know that things happen for a reason and everything is happening to steer you in the right direction so things will look up i promise i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i will see you very 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 soon i love you guys so much Bye bye